greetings. Right, so I'm just going to get this uh, open. So this is um, a tip to get rid of all those nasty junk mail things that a lot of people have been getting in Virgin Media recently because, probably because, you know, there's a handful of people looking after the server, so they haven't had time to make a filtering system for it. Um, so the, the beauty with Virgin, I suppose, one perk, is the fact that you can set up um, a filter to get rid of any junk mail you don't like from anybody, really. So I'm going to take you through that now. So what you want to obviously do is you want to go to your Virgin Media website, which is simply up not like that, but that's going to do silly things. So come up here, obviously virginmedia.com. Log into your email as you would normally do through your email system, which should present you with this. Okay, so there's your inbox, blah, blah, blah. All right, so I've got this nice little spam email from yourself, just for a laugh. Okay, the thing you want to do first is you want to make a note of the actual email address it's come from. Okay, so in this case, Obviously, this is my Gmail account. Um, however, what you want to do is, if it's one of these horrible um, Norton ones that you've been getting, and it's like a gibberish email system, which I'm going to pull up on my other screen here. So, for instance, um, it's like support at ordice.com, which is complete fake. Um, I've got other ones. I've got a Dees. I've got something at adahamahamahalaalaway.com, whatever the hell that is. Um, you want to highlight this part of the email here okay what you want to do is highlight that you just drag your cursor across and highlight it copy it okay the danger with this is if you get stuff from anybody with gmail then what it's going to do is it's going to block that domain when you put this filter in line so anybody from gmail will get blocked it's okay on things like um like the one i've got here which is adahanamalawhalaway.com <laughs> it's, it's a right mouthful it's spelled really weird it's not an, an everyday email address like live.com or uh, gmail.com blueyonder.co.uk or anything like that it is a g complete nonsense email that you want to block anyway so uh, in this case we're going to show you how to add one okay so highlight that and copy it so you've got it okay now what you want to do is you want to go up to this three little dots here this is your advanced settings and menus and stuff it comes up with settings on the actual page when you hover over it if you click on that and click on settings in here you will have your basic settings account email and stuff now what you want is it will normally look like that it's just because I opened it up before okay so you want to click on that arrow to open it and you want to go to filter rules very important now you must remember the email that we did earlier so as you can see here we already have a, a shit list I have a big shit list okay that's what I called it um, and I have got all these ones added to this one so I'm going to create a new one just for the, for the reference so what you want to do is you want to click on you add a new rule because you want to make one new rule name we'll just call it crap2 and we'll get rid of it anyway okay so conditions obviously this is what applies to the emails as they come in so this is the condition so you want to add a condition and you want to select who it's from okay contains right so what you want to do is right click paste and it'll add that bit they highlighted if you just want to do the email address the one email address then you could put in the bit at the beginning so in this case it was from my other account so i could put wbcs.neo at gmail.com um, however i want to block the gmail domain so what you do is you get rid of all of the stuff before the at sign and including the at sign so you have gmail.com okay uh, and that'll that'll put a block on anything that comes in from anybody with a gmail account okay uh, add a con action so what you want to do is you want to add an action and what you want to do is you go all the way down to discard okay and what that'll do is that'll instantly delete that email from your inbox or wherever it's going before it gets processed um, and hopefully that should stop them coming through um, if you have emails forward and enabled however it turns out even though I told Virgin not to process like to process after 
um, the filter it doesn't seem to do it so Virgin's email system doesn't quite work 100% in that regard so if you do forwarding like I am at the minute because I'm waiting for this account to die um, it will still come through as a junk thing however if you forward in a gmail good news is they are instantly spamming any of these emails which is great because that's what gmail does it learns very quickly virgin however do not um, so so you click on discard okay so that would save that um, if you want to add another one you can add another condition so you would add from again from someone else like uh, live.co.uk It'll block anybody from live.co.uk. Okay, an action. Okay, so we've already got the rule. We just need the conditions. So if any, anything comes in from Gmail or live.co.uk, it'll discard them. Boom. Any emails coming from those domains. And that is it. Once you've entered the ones you want to block, click on save. There's me crap too. You can move these around so you can prioritize the list. As you can see, I've got odds, odds, odds. But crap two if you want to add to these you just come back to your your rule that you've made crap two edit again condition add a condition down the line from um joeblogs.com just in case it does exist um and then save and then that will apply the next set of emails that come from those three domains it will automatically delete them discard them get rid of them okay and that's it that's all you've got to do once that's done you can go back to your emails and have a happy life um, if you've got a, you, gen, you tend to tend to find is when you get a flood of these emails like at the minute we get a lot of Norton ones in the blue under one um, they generally come from one or two people they don't come from lots of different people it comes from lots of different emails at the front but the domains are usually the same so you just put the domain in uh, obviously if you're getting lots of randomness at um, gmail.com then it's a different matter because you don't want to block other gmails like myself i've got a genuine gmail one i don't want you to block me um then you would have to uh, work out a way of blocking that individual email either putting its actual email address at the front as well as the uh the end of it okay so it's it's one of those things but generally you'll recognize a proper email address to a to a some rubbish one that's that's been abused um, and they usually use rubbish ones that are out in a stick somewhere that nobody else uses not any of the, the high-end email systems like Microsoft ones or Gmail or Yahoo or anything like that. they're usually ones you've never heard of and you're like what the heck is that if it's one of those ones block the domain you're not going to harm anything okay and that's it really um, and that'll that'll sort it all out if you decide you don't want the filter you can disable it um, or you can just bin it okay so you can disable that filter simple as that it's disabled it's greyed out and there's enable okay now i've got auto forward oh i made one oh well that's i didn't know i had one of them i think that's the rule ah hey there it is yeah even though that's the one um this is the rule i made for auto forwarding so it forwards through as you can see i've got shit list first which should delete uh, of course, yes, I haven't got those Norton ones in that list. That's why. Um, if I put those ones that I've been that's been we've been getting recently from various people in the shit list, then they would be deleted before my auto forwarding would kick in. But since I haven't got them, I'm getting them anyway. So I need to really do that if I want to do it. But I can't be bothered, or should I? I don't know. Anyway, actually, I'm going to do it. I'm going to I'm going to pull one up. So I'm going to do is I'm going to whoop, not that. I don't want to email them, I just want to block it. Right, well, no, I don't want to save that. Right, so I'm just going to copy that email address. So we'll do that in my shit list. I'll not do it in crap too, I'll do it in my shit list. So, shit list, edit. As you can see, quite a lot. So you scroll all the way down when you start getting a lot of them. Add condition from. I'll paste the email in there. That's the email I've got. This is one of the Norton ones at present. So, what I'll do is I will remove anything before the at sign so at sign goes that's it at a hannah harlowider.com that's what i was saying trying to say before i don't know what the hell that is save that so now i will not get those emails coming through even if i've turned my auto forward on um which i can do by doing this there's my auto forward so if i look at uh, spam settings and filter rules you see it's now enabled again so there you go so that would auto forward to my email address because i'm waiting for it to die so I'm just collecting emails as I go but the shit list will prevent 
that one from coming through now so I won't get that one in my spam in my Gmail which is what I'm getting at the minute okay this is the only way to filter across all your platforms so if you are using live mail if you're using your phones um, etc etc this is the only way to block it across all your devices you cannot do it any other way it's, it's simple as that because of how the, the emails are if they're not being detected as spam straight away then they're just going to get slammed on every device that you've got until you've put an official filter in like this okay and that is it and I'm going to show you how to get rid of the filter so if you've done a filter and you've done it all wrong you can just hit the little bin next to crap 2 for example do you want to delete yes it's gone so there's me nice list of things um, and that's it uh, hopefully that will help you um, so there you go I'm just going to shut that one down and I think that will do okay so have fun hopefully you'll not get any more emails once you've done that process but it, it is one of those tedious things you've got to do otherwise you're just going to get bombarded there's lots of Norton ones at the minute flying around and I feel sorry for all the Virgin users um, but, but we can't do much at the minute because of Covid and there obviously there's nobody in the in the main server offices or whatever to update the, the spam filters you know ironically Google can do it quite happily but hey ho who knows okie dokie have fun and I shall see you again